It is a beautiful day for an adventure. Woohoo, an adventure. Today we're doing something we've never done before. We are going to harvest sea salt here in Duncan Town. Wait a second, I've done that. I just take my finger across the boat after a crossing and I just look at my finger and I've got plenty of sea salt. Well, what are you talking about? Also true, yes, but <laughs> we're gonna do it professionally. So sea salt industry here in Duncantown is actually why this place is a settlement. Uh, many years and years ago, uh, this was actually the biggest industry of the Ragged Islands. Yeah, big business here. And now, it's, still, it's still harvested on a small scale, but much, much smaller than it used to be. So. Correct, yeah. So now the big industry here is fishing, uh, particularly during lobster season or Crawfish season, as they say. Do you want to turn here? Or turn at the next one. Oh, we need to go to the house straight ahead. I don't know if you can see this because I have a wide angle on right now, but these goats just walk right across the street, and there's some more goats up here in the yard. Hashtag goat crossing. Yeah, they just <laughs> walk wherever they want, all over town. Oh, look at the little baby goat. <laughs> I say that all cute and whatnot as if I don't know the Bahamians are gonna eat him one day. <laughs> they like goat. Also known as mutton. Mutton. Not to be confused with mutton snapper. But what did you call yourself? The island man for the salt. The island man for the salt, all right. <laughs> all right, so who built these ponds originally? Uh, the ancestors from back in the day. Okay. Old people and slaves. What you can see from here is different section of family ponds. Okay. You know, they, they got uh, originated people from here, like the Wallace, the Monroe, the Lockett. Yep. And each one of those represent all those where you see rock just cut off and... and okay. Like that is, is a different family. Why do people want to do it in the private ponds instead of in the government side? Well, saying in the government pond only uh, make one type of salt. That's the very fine salt and just above fine. And in these other section, you have different grades of salt. Oh. Medicated okay. salt, you got uh, cured salt for curing meat and stuff like that. Okay. Preserving the meat. Well, that's what they used to use back in the day before light came around. Sure. Salt is a preserver and a healer. Little rain and a lot of drought, sunlight. Ooh. That's what makes the salt. See, the, 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 the breeze just rip it up against the, the rocks of how it's set up. And as it dries on, it just hanging there, just like on the shore, out in the sea. The fish to eat them. It's okay for my no, feet. No, it's good. If you you can feel it, take it off and, and try it. All right. You'll like it. You're gonna do it. Yeah. Are you gonna do it? I guess. Hey, I got a sore ankle. I got nothing to lose. You know, you, you, that's gonna help you. <laughs> I got a cut in my foot. That's gonna help you too. It's gonna burn like hell, isn't it? Well, it might burn. You mean that right there? Oh man, that's gonna heal all that. Feel it. Just walk where I walk. Feel it. Feel. Does it hurt? No. <laughs> It's all natural. This is this is like, listen, let me say, this is like the ultimate Epsom salts bath right here. Well, like, Epsom salts come from this, but they just add a preservative to make it sound different. Yeah. So you could buy it. But this is Epsom salt right here, all natural. <laughs> nothing taken out, nothing added. Ah. Mm. Uh, those, those salt crystals are kind of pokey. Yeah. See that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I do have a little sore in the back yeah. of my foot. That's gonna help yeah. you. See it? Oh yeah, you need I that. A little blister. You need that. You need this. This is. How the do you walk on this? This is so sharp. Yeah. To you? Yes. You probably you don't take off shoes. I have baby feet. Yeah, well, oh. I, have, I have Reebok. My book under there. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Yep. Look at that. All right, now what's the next process? Okay, let me show you how it's done. I mean, we're putting it up and how, how long it takes to accumulate a heap. Let me show you. I'll start from this little piece right here. See, we normally just start taking it up off the edge like this. See that? Yeah. Let out the water, use this one, see? And this is how she cleans her salt. If she pick up any salt with anything in it, watch this. You see that black spot? Yeah. Watch this. See? She just wave it like that and it can't come right out clean. 
That's how, that's how, that's how delicate the salt is. It moves everything away from my See how much, yeah, you put up the heaps. And then wow. you just come here and you start your heap, just like that. Amazing. That's how you get that. These videos for us aren't really paying anything, right? Yeah. Uh, so I'm wondering, uh, we're gonna be here for a few more days. If you get $80 a heap or a bag, how much, how much would you pay me to come out here and rake? <laughs> I, 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 as far, uh, how, how much work, how much raking you think you could do a day? Well, I, I guess I need to be motivated well, well, by well, how much you, money you know, your first make. time out, you, you'll be considered a, a helper. Yeah. So. But I mean, it, I guess it depends on how well you motivate me, yeah. right? Yeah, that's true too. Money motivates people. Yeah. yeah. You better move faster than that. Yeah. <laughs> not gonna get me. Wow. If you're gonna move like Matrix, you're gonna get Matrix pay. <laughs> you could have in that shovel yeah it's the quicker you could form your heap because the more water it's like slush you're just running yep. yeah so it's like your heap never piling up so this is this is like free money to you that is free money why, why shouldn't i come out here and make a dollar and it's so close to my house right to my back door that's amazing Just enough to taste flavor. Yes, sir. Good flu. That was good. That is really good. Yeah, good flu. Yeah, yeah, I like that. So as you can see the salt ponds behind me, one of the things about the salt mining or harvesting is that it's feast or famine. And what I mean by that is it's really dependent on rain in the season the rainy season. If it rains too much, then they can't harvest the salt. If it rains too little, well, then the salt doesn't grow. So you really need a perfect balance of rain and sunlight or evaporation in this case for it to really be a bumper crop. So we're back to Lost Key Lodge where you guys saw us playing a hard match of Uno yesterday. But we're here today to actually have some lunch. Now that we've harvested our salt, it is time to go have some lunch on the island. Yeah. Yum. Yeah. 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 No, it's not. Yeah, it's only Thank you, Mr. Erica. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Yummy. Guys, we actually haven't had hamburgers and I don't remember when. It's been a long time. Well, we did have one with Ken and Nancy while we were Oh, that's in right. Town. We did. We did have one hamburger with them. In fact, the, the two hamburgers I know of that we've had it with them <laughs> over the course of this three months. Yeah. Wow. I'm starving. I'm very hungry, and this Eat. looks really good. Mm -hmm. You know what's awesome is we spent the entire morning with Nino doing our salt harvesting, and he uh, just wanted to spend time with us. Didn't expect anything in return. And actually, Emily tried to pay him for this bag of salt, and he said, absolutely not. It's really, just really cool, you know? Salt of the earth, people. Literally. Literally, Literally salt of the earth. We love it. This has been our best tour so far. <laughs> Emily's just commenting on my hair, considering she, uh, Gave me a little chop yesterday. I think it looks pretty good, actually. I'm pretty impressed with the first time of her doing it. But nevertheless, we are back to the boat and we have enough time this afternoon to get a little spearfishing mission in. So we're gonna go check out the reefs here and see if we can find anything worth hunting.
man. Good job, babe. Grocery trip. We picked up the Fanta floating. We didn't. We didn't. Kill it. <laughs> no, we didn't. We found that trash floating. What do you think? Not bad. That was a good day. Not bad. We have to go home now. My pole sphere broke, so nothing left for me to do. But watch you, and that's not fun. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't want to sit around and watch you.